I know what I saw. Busun opened the gate. He let the Templars in. Then you must tell Al Muallim. I can't. Masun did not act alone. Someone inside the fortress helped him. What makes you say this? He exchanges letters with someone inside. The basket weaver carries them for him. That's no reason to stay silent. Ah, but the weaver delivered him a letter just before the attack. I suspect it held the order to open the gate. Then speak to the Weaver. He can name Masun's accomplice. He's disappeared. Hiding for fear of being dragged into this. <laughs> Probably inside one of his own baskets. Just one. We lost everything in the attack and have no place to store our grain. I... I can't right now. I'm busy. Is this about the letter? What letter? The letter you received when I got here. Bad news? I don't know what you're talking about. Listen, I'll see what I can do, but please, I need to be alone right now. Come back later. As you wish. betrayed us two days attack was but the first and more will follow unless you repent give up your wicked ways rise up against the madman of Masyaf see through his lies
Quickly then, I've no interest in your games. Why did you betray us? And who do you serve? We serve the Templars. You should too. Their cause is just. We? Jamal, he told me of their plans. Asked me to open the gate. You betrayed us. We, who called you brother and kept you safe from harm. I did what I believed was right. And if you must kill me for it, so be it. I am not afraid to die. Your fate is not for me to decide. It's Al Muallam who will judge. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. You stand accused of betraying our brotherhood and opening the way for our enemies. How do you answer to these charges? I deny nothing. I'm proud of what I did. My only regret is that they failed. I offer you a chance to repent. To renounce the evil in your heart. It is not evil in my heart, but truth. I will not repent. Then you will die. You did well, Altair, and have earned the right to carry a blade once more. What will become of the one who helped him? It remains to be seen. Some do ill out of ignorance or fear. These men can be saved. Others suffer from corrupted wills, their minds poisoned and twisted. These men must be destroyed. Soon enough, we'll know what sort of man Jamal is. I've passed your test, then. What now? <laughs> oh, my child. We've only just begun. I hold here a list. Nine names adorn it. Nine men who need to die. They are plague bringers, war makers. Their power and influence corrupts the land and ensures the Crusades continue. You will find them. Kill them. In doing so, you'll sow the seeds of peace, both for the region and for yourself. In this way, you might be redeemed. Nine lives in exchange for mine. A most generous offer, I think. Have you any questions? Only where I need begin. Very well. Ride for Damas. Seek out the black market merchant named Tamir. Let him be the first to fall. Be sure to visit the city's assassin bureau when you arrive. I'll dispatch a bird to inform the Rafik of your arrival. Speak with him. You'll find he has much to offer. If you believe it best. I do. Besides, you cannot begin your mission without his consent. What nonsense is this? I don't need his permission. It's a waste of time. It's the price you pay for the mistakes you've made. You answer not only to me, but all the Brotherhood as well now. So be it. Take your equipment and go. Prove that you are not yet lost to us. Gone mad. Altair, it seems my students do not fully understand what it is to wield a blade. Perhaps you could show them what you know.
You must be busy. I understand. You will die here. You must be busy. I understand. Focus on your target. Let nothing distract you. Such wild swings will give your enemy an opening and send you to an early death. When you are exposed, tackle people who are in your way to me.
Should you enter a fist fight, guards will not interfere, but drawing your weapon will turn. Whatever we wish. Whoa. Please, I've done nothing wrong. Why are you Go doing this? Favors us, old man. Stop this, please. You're hurting me. Damn, infidel! Damn, infidel! How can one? 
Thank you, my boy. I only wish my sons were half as brave as you. I'll see to it that they hear this tale and know what it is to be a true hero. These are dark days indeed. Children of God! Help! I need help! Please, anyone! Don't no worry, me. friends! The Shaitan is everywhere! What? Hey! Thief! You are filthy! I am at your service! Die, thief! days between Damas and Jerusalem, but recent business had been poor. It seemed there were I none in Jerusalem who wanted what he had, fruits and vegetables from nearby farms. As Tamir drove his caravan north, he came across the Saracen leader and his starving men. Most fortunate for them both, each having something the other wanted. It was just before Hatim. The Saracens were low on food and in desperate need of resupply. But there was no relief in sight. Don't know the man better than I. Come close. Hear the tale I have to tell. Of a merchant prince. As Tamir drove his caravan north, he came across the Saracen leader and his starving men. Most fortunate for them both, 
each having some other wanted. Altair, it is good to see you, and in one piece. You as well, friend. I am sorry for your troubles. Think nothing of it. A few of your brothers were here earlier, in fact. Oof, if you'd heard the things they said, I'm certain you'd have slain them where they stood. It's quite all right. Yes, you've never been one for the creed, have you? Is that all? I'm sorry. Sometimes I forget myself. What business brings you to the mass? A man named Tamir. Al Muallam takes issue with the work he does. I meant to end it. Now tell me where to find him. Sure. 